It may seem like a good idea to take leftover antibiotics for a condition you might have at some points in times, but I'm gonna tell you why it's actually not a good idea to do this at all. Guys, it's good to see you. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. Guys, there's a lot of really important stuff we need to talk about here. This is something I've seen in the office a lot recently. Um, that's why I wanted to come and talk to you guys about it because guys, it is super, super, super important, okay? Let's talk about why this is not a good idea. First reason is, first of all, you shouldn't have any leftover antibiotics anyway. Think about what it means to have leftover antibiotics. What does that mean? It means that you didn't finish taking the course when you were given it initially. So if it was a 10 day course or 14 day course, the only reason to have leftover antibiotics is that you actually didn't finish it. That in and of itself is a problem because well, what it means is, you probably didn't get the adequate treatment you were supposed to get for whatever you were given your antibiotic for. Remember, if you're given antibiotics, you wanna make sure you're taking it according to the instructions. You wanna make sure you don't leave any on the table, okay? You don't wanna save any. You don't wanna keep any for safekeeping for later. You wanna take it all as it's directed. And I'm gonna explain why that's so important. It is so important, okay? So the first reason is, we really shouldn't have any leftover antibiotics, all right? But let's say you do have leftover antibiotics for some reason, or maybe you took a friend's antibiotics. I recently saw a patient and she uh, actually took some of her dad's old antibiotics and, and that leaves some potential problems as well. Uh, the first thing is when we take antibiotics that are not ours or they're leftover, number one, they could be expired. Let's just talk about that, right? How often are you going through your medicine cabinet, taking a look at the dates on your medications and making sure you're throwing out stuff that is expired? You should be doing that regularly, especially when the seasons change, I think is a great time to sort of reevaluate like your over-the-counter medications and your steroid creams and whatever you got. Okay, sunscreens, all that stuff expires. But the thing is, um, the medication that you're taking could be expired. And if that's the case, well, it may not be as effective as it's supposed to be uh, anyway. So we don't want you taking uh, expired medications ever. We certainly don't want you to take uh, expired medications that are leftover because I don't want you to take leftover medications or medications that belong to someone else. All right. Uh, the third reason, guys, this is super important, is that um, you may not even need an antibiotic right? So the patient that I recently saw in the office, she'd taken her dad's old antibiotic for something that it turns out she didn't even need an antibiotic for. Um, that can be a problem. We don't want you taking antibiotics if you don't need them. Um, and one of the reasons why is there can be side effects with antibiotics. You may not need an antibiotic in the first place, in which case it can open you up to a lot of potential side effects. But let's say you do need an antibiotic. Number four is that you're taking leftover antibiotic or an antibiotic that belongs to someone else you may be taking the antibiotic or an antibiotic that's not the right one. Remember, we have different antibiotics because they work differently for different conditions, for different bacteria. Not all antibiotics are created equally. And you may be thinking, oh, let me just take this old z pack I got lying around here or this old this. But you may not know, well, because you're not expected to know, right? You're not a doctor, but you may not know that that antibiotic doesn't actually treat the condition you have if, in fact, you do need an antibiotic, all right? So that is number four. Number five, I kind of talked a little bit about this before. This is side effects, all right? Um, we're often talking about, um, you know, and I understand this, that many people, my patients included, want to um, do things naturally when possible, when it's safe, when it's reasonable. And as a physician, I agree with that. The thing about taking antibiotics, any antibiotics actually, any antibiotic can have side effects. Um, any medication, any supplement, any vitamin can have side effects, right? So when we take antibiotics, especially those that uh, have not been prescribed to us, whether they're leftover or they're someone else's, um, we could be opening ourselves up to side effects that well, we just don't need and are not warranted. Remember, antibiotics can have side effects. What well, some of the most common side effects of any antibiotic is GI or gastrointestinal side effects, okay? Among others, all right? Um, Let's go on to number six. Now this one, number six is one that I think is super important. And this is called uh, a concern that we have in the medical community is something called antibiotic resistance. Now, I know it's a long word, but it's basically the term that describes what happens when antibiotics that we used to be able to use to treat something uh, no longer works against that thing. So you probably heard in the news over the years that certain conditions we can't treat the same way we used to. Why? Because our antibiotics no longer work against them. One of the things that contributes to something like that happening, which is called antibiotic resistance, 
is when people take medications or antibiotics they don't need or take them improperly, which means they don't finish the course, say, they don't take the whole thing, they share the antibiotics, they're not taking them properly. Um, it's a sort of a complicated thing, but the long and short of it is, is when we don't take antibiotics the right way for the right conditions, we can actually contribute to the global problem of antibiotics actually not working for the things they typically do work for. And it's one of the reasons why as doctors, we're pretty cautious and we should be and thoughtful about when we give antibiotics. It's one of the reasons why if you walk into my office and say, I got a stuffy nose, I need a, I need an antibiotic, I need a Z-Pak, um, I'm going to probably, no, I definitely am going to say, well, let's start from the beginning. Why don't you tell me about your symptoms? I'm gonna need more information. I'm not probably not gonna prescribe you a Z-Pak anyway. Um, that antibiotic is what I'm trying to say. But the point being is um, we need to make sure as doctors that we're actually giving antibiotics for the things that we think can be treated by antibiotics and for the right bacteria. And if we just throw out antibiotics left and right, what we're gonna do is we're sort of gonna oversaturate the pool and we're gonna make it harder for antibiotics all over the place to work when we need them to, okay? So that's one thing that um, happens and can happen over time when we take antibiotics that are not meant for us, antibiotics that are meant for other people, when we don't take them the way they're supposed to be taken, is it can leave room for this antibiotic resistance to happen on a global level, which is it contributes to um, antibiotics just not working well. And we don't want that. Wouldn't it be horrible if we got to a time and a place where we didn't have antibiotics we needed to treat the most common causes of pneumonia or sinusitis or things like that? That's not what we want. Um, and I, so I would say that the second thing, excuse me, the seventh thing is that, you know, when we talk about taking leftover antibiotics or antibiotics that beyond, belong to somebody else, you know, really what people are doing and what my patient was doing when she came into the office, she was essentially treating herself. And I understand the desire to want to get to the bottom of it and to feel better when something is wrong. But the truth of the matter is, I don't ever want you to be out there on a limb by yourself treating yourself, right? You deserve to have a healthcare provider in your corner with you, helping you, walking you through this to make sure that we're doing the right thing, we're treating you the right way, that we have the right diagnosis. So before you start treating yourself and you're deciding what's going on with you, um, come in to see us so that we can help you with this and make sure we're doing the right thing by you, okay? That's super important. I don't want you treating yourself. Um, I would say as a bonus, a bonus item is that the other thing too, keep in mind, when we take our friends, families, parents, brothers, sisters, kids, you know, whatever antibiotics, we also open ourselves up to potential allergic reactions. You may not realize that what you're taking may be in a class of medications or antibiotics that you actually already have an allergy to. Uh, not everybody has allergies to antibiotics, but I'm just saying, if you do, you might end up taking something that you think is gonna do you some good, but actually it may do harm if you end up having an, an allergic reaction to that medication as well. So there's plenty of reasons you shouldn't be treating yourself and taking antibiotics that belong to other people, not yourself. And we don't even want leftover antibiotics. Why we got leftover antibiotics? I don't know. Do you know? <laughs> so my point being is, um, there's many, many reasons. And you know, uh, the other thing and I've said this is, you know, a lot of people get side effects from antibiotics. You don't want that if you don't need it. I want to know what you think. Um, I want to know right in the comments. Let me know what you guys are thinking. I'm going to read through the comments uh, over the course of the evening to sort of take a peek. I love you guys. You're amazing. Send me some love and let me know what you think about this topic. If you, again, uh, have been, um, I don't know, uh, perhaps a, a fallen victim to this, or you know someone who has, or um, if you have any stories about this, I often say that what you guys write in the comments often helps other people. Um, you guys are amazing. I love you guys. I just wanted to come and talk to you about this situation I recently saw in the office and that I see in the office uh, relatively frequently, okay? Oh, by the way, remember antibiotics only treat bacteria. They don't treat viruses, which is another reason why we don't always give them sometimes when people don't feel well. Because if it's a virus or something else, well, it's not going to be an antibiotic that does it, okay?